or if you rely more on naging dependent ka na sa AI, you will not develop that critical thinking skills. There is uh, limitations lang. Remember nga, we have our own set of skills as well. And if we want to use it, yes, let's use it responsibly. Hey there! Technology! One of the most impressive things that humans have invented that makes the world more progressive and advanced. Also, one of the beneficial tools that humans utilizes. May it be the medical field, business, politics, and most especially, education. We think one of the issues that this generation are currently facing, and that is the utilization of AI in students. Now, the rampant usage of this has led to many debates that people are doing online. And also, there are two sides, the positive and the negative effects of utilizing AI and student study. So, if you want to learn, stay tuned as we embark on the technology of the reliance of Gen Z students on artificial intelligence on education. Hello everyone! Today, we're gonna talk about the reliance of Gen Z students on using artificial intelligence in their education. And now, we're gonna find someone to interview. What are the effects of reliance to AI in your studies? Well, for me, the effect of using artificial intelligence is that makes my uh, study style uh, more um, more easier. Of artificial intelligence, what I'm uh, what I'm trying to do now is like uh, like a prompt sa uh, AI, and then after that, I upload lang ang ako ng mga notes, um, all the PowerPoints, and then uh, just seconds lang siya actually ang kulatunimum, and then may maappear na reviewer, so which is more convenient na siya, makasave na sa time. Alright, thank you so much, Miss. You're welcome. Artificial intelligence benefits students by making learning more accessible through instant feedback, interactive tools, and personalized to be resources. It also helps them save time and understand lessons better by simplifying complex topics in ways that match their learning style. Here, a second question for you, Miss. Does using AI make you lose your focus in your studies? Well, for me, yes. Um, kung garilay lang kita sa AI most of the time, then um, it will give us uh, complacency. Like, maging ma, ma expect ba lang uh, hapos ang tanan? Like, masalig na lang kita nga, nga tungod nga may AI naman, hindi na tayo mag-toon. Like, ay, masalig na lang so na lang ko ma-review ah kaya kapos lang magpahino reviewer sa AI which is wrong na siya nga mindset so mag-abot ang time naman nga malipatan mo bali nga ma-exam ka mo para buha so makraming ka na na ako magkraming ka miss kayo mag-review ka pa sa AI hindi mo na siya mag-uman alright thank you so much miss you're welcome Sige, 
tapos na nalang 3 days. Pumantan ko sa isang makalabit ako sa chat. Artificial intelligence can make students overly dependent on technology, reducing their critical thinking and problem-solving skills. It may also lead to academic dishonesty when learners use AI to complete tasks instead of developing their own knowledge and abilities. So good morning. By the way, I am Sir Eman. My name is Emmanuel Haipe and currently I am one of the guidance counselors here or guidance associates here in the SDPC office or the college as guidance office. And I am 23 years old, currently taking up a master's degree here at UNOR and my undergrad um, is from University of St. Casal, BS Psychology and graduated last year. Okay, so we have sir, here Sir Emma. We were gonna ask him about the reliance of artificial intelligence among students in education. So, sir, can we ask for advice for all the students who are currently using artificial intelligence in their education? Okay, so one thing that um, came up sa akin yung mind is that when using artificial intelligence, we should always use it responsibly. And as well, you know, it has its advantages and it has its disadvantages. When it comes to advantages, you know, it can also help us in terms of education, in terms of sciences, in terms of our um, learning. But um, we should also man, um, remind ourselves that we should not depend on it. Because um, if you see you know, or if you rely more on naging dependent ka na sa AI, you know, maybe later on you will not develop that critical thinking skills. So, well, let's have an example for ChatGPT, you know, for example. Because it's very, um, somehow, duamugin na siya ang garampan sumo when using that kind of platform. So, for example, you're using AI or the ChatGPT. Sometimes, you know, if you depend on it, you know, like for example, um, yung gabutang na tanan sa inyong mga questions. So, pagbutang mo na sa inyong mga questions, syempre, aral na tanan niya answers. So, kung kikahapin mo na na tanan, ang downside nila is that you will not understand what you really are learning. And so, let us remember nga we have our own set of skills and three talents and knowledge. So, let's empower ourselves, you know, I but not um, totally nga independent again at all life with that kind of doctor or that kind of specific topic. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for reminding us to be responsible and using AI in today's generation. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you so much. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you. According to the UK research survey conducted by YouGov, this 2024-2025, 10 out of 12 students, approximately 82%, says that an AI summarize save their study time. So the frequently report using AI to shorten long text and produce concise notes, save their time during exam preparation. Additionally, 9 out of 12 students, approximately 75%, find AI series make difficult concept easier to understand. 
to die since in 2004, the research study entitled The Effects of Over-Reliance on AI Dialogue System on Students, Critical Cognitive Giving Capability Systematic Review, 9 out of 12 students it equals to 75 feel less motivated to read all source text when AI gives quick. Summarized studies on cognitive uploading show students keep deeper reading when summarized or answers are available. To sum it all, students' reliance on artificial intelligence in education can be both beneficial and destructive. It is beneficial because it makes our works faster and easier, but destructive because it may cause laziness, unproductivity, and delays. In creating the vlog, the group learned that AI must be used in balanced manner, not too much on reliance to avoid negative results like laziness. AI is now part of our system. So the question remains, do you want artificial intelligence to be part of your system? The recommendations that this vlog can recommend are students are encouraged to limit the use of AI in their studies. Since while it makes work faster and easier, it may also lead to negative effects in the future. Instead, they should be more productive as being productive lessens the need to rely on AI. Engaging in group studies is also rec recommendable because it makes more learning more energetic and enjoyable through the sharing of ideas and concepts with others. Furthermore, developing study techniques can help students become more productive and boost the performance in academics. To address this issue, Gen Z can, can take steps such as balancing the use of AI which can prevent the over-reliance and promote moderate, mindful, and usage of the tool. I hope you guys get learned something and educated about our vlog entitled Teknolohiyang Napapanahon The Reliance of Gen Z Students on Artificial Intelligence in Education